have to go and with my new aftermarket wiring we'll attach it to these wires here. Okay, finally figured out I think where all these wires are going to go for the ignition. I drew a few diagrams, got the new ignition switch set up with the new plugs and then got the new wire ends and I think that is what I come up with. So I think it's going to be great. Okay, I got the plug unplugged and the, and the old ignition switch out and this is where I'll be sorting out these wires and putting it back to where the original plug would have been back on the column. steering wheel, new steering column, new steering ignition switch, everything. Okay, and this is, uh, see this turns here to start. And this is what I was missing on mine. So this is going to be good. What I'm going to do is clean all this up. Give it a coat of paint. Check all the connections to the electrical. And um, yeah, bolt it in. Actually, I'll put my new ignition switch on while I have it all off here. Yeah, it looks like everything matches up. and everything it looks like it's in the same spot that's that wire that was cut that went to the ignition this one here put the new switch on so anyway i'm just going to clean all this up paint it up make sure the bushings and bearings are good and uh, I'll just go from there Gonna get a light, light scuffing. This will get resprayed. Should look pretty good. Stripping back some of these wires. I'm gonna connect them where they need to go. Make up my harness. And then um, we should be ready to test it. Okay, 
Okay, going to be joining these uh, wires together here with these uh, new connectors that I found that I used on the van. Just use a, a lighter and you melt the um, melt the solder in the middle, and then shrink. Then it shrinks on either side. And uh, perfect seal, nice and tight and waterproof. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, there we have the first one done. Perfect. Carry on and do the rest of them. Alright, finished product. I'll take this up now. Well, actually, I'll make sure it works first before I tape it up. Okay, column came out pretty good. It's just a little tacky in all areas, but, uh, so I'll just let it uh, harden up. I won't put it back in today. Okay, here's another 40 mile an hour moment just doing red on these uh, on the gauge front let's see what it's like you know if i don't like it later i'll just change it look at that That's 40 miles an hour Some um, crystal clear acrylic coating. I'm just trying that on top of this. Nothing to lose here. Right, we'll see what happens. Let's see. 